everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit. Hi. I just want to come in here and share with you my little herb garden with all the weeds. This is what it looks like before, and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Time to pull weeds out of my garden. I don't have my gloves, but I gotta get it done before it rains. It's supposed to rain today. And then I come in here, top it off, amend it, get it ready, and then I can put my herbs in there and let them grow. If I had my gloves, I wouldn't have to worry about getting the pricklies and hurting myself or bugs. It might have been cilantro, but it ain't. Get out, beauty. Come on. You don't blink. You don't belong in here. I don't know how to get these out. I don't even know. I feel sprinkles. It's getting ready to rain. I gotta get this done. been hiding eggs in my herb garden. <laughs> I'll right here again later. And if you find eggs, it's not, let me sit down here so I can see you guys easier. But if you're finding eggs hidden in different obvious places that they're not supposed to be laying eggs, take them in water and soak them. Not soak them, but put them in water. And if they float, don't eat them. It means you're no good. But don't throw them away. You can put those in your garden as fertilizer underneath tomato plants, uh, things like that. Dig your hole to put your plant in. Crack your egg, egg, shell and all, put it in there. It'll turn to dirt. And all the nutrients and things in it, even though it's a dead baby, um, if you have roosters that fertilize your eggs. But if you know they're no good, instead of eating them, you can still use them for fertilizer. So I hope that helps somebody. Get these weeds. Oh, many. Get these weeds done before it rains.
just realized the Easter egg, the, the, the birds made Easter eggs for me since yesterday was Easter. <laughs> Something was Easter, I mean. If you can, I don't know about weeds, maybe you shouldn't do it, but weeds, if you know what to plant, you can leave it in the garden because it's going to decompose and turn to dirt and give nutrients to the plants that you throw in there. So, that's all I got to do is finish, finish pulling these out. Hard time growing herbs every year, trying to get anything worth keeping or eating. And I got an herb garden, how to grow herbs for beginners. And I'm gonna be reading that and doing that this year. Hopefully, I can get something accomplished.
that's all we're gonna get is a little bit of thunder and a sprinkle less than two drops on me. And I guess I'm gonna be watering my garden this year. Long up here, I'm gonna have to find where to keep these chickens out of this. Well, guys, let me show you what I want to do. There's the eggs I gotta take in, but I got all this done except for that big weed right there. I need to dig that roots and all out. Get all that finished up, top it off, amend it, and then get my herbs in the ground. And keep those chickens, if you can see them, keep them out of the garden. Virtually impossible. But we're going to build a fence around the garden here to keep the animals out. At least that's our intentions, to keep the animals out by putting a fence around the garden this year. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed watching me get the weeds out on the herb garden. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Ta-ta!